Hello, this is Kian Kim from KSIA, Korea Ski Instructors Association. Now it is time for Korea. Uh, we have four demonstrators prepared for this event. Choi Song Ho, Choi Young, Bo Taeyeon, and Shin Sun Mi. Two demonstrators will show long turns and the other two will show short turns. For the long turns, one demonstrator will ski down the slope showing dynamic long turns targeting intermediate skiers in instruction. And the other demonstrator will show carving long turn. Our first demonstrator, Shin Sun Mi, will show dynamic long turn. She's gonna start, yes. For dynamic long turns, uh, we focus on the very beginning of a turn. We want skiers to move their hips, uh, the center of mass, letter forward at the very beginning of a turn, which we believe prevents skiers from leaning backward. And this movement will help skiers turn both skis forward toward fall line. At this point, skier's shin touches the tongue of ski boot but doesn't press it. This way, we keep the skier's balance at the center of feet. Uh, skis will drift while re uh, rotating to the fall line, so pure carving is not necessary for dynamic long turns. Um, past the fall line, skiers keep uh, steering uh, both skis, which build pressure and skiers will feel greater edge grips, but not too much as it is dynamic parallel for intermediate skiers. Now, uh, the second skier demonstrator, Gu Taeyeon, will show carving long turns. Uh, Gu Taeyeon may start. The same fundamentals used in dynamic long turns will be used but with greater lateral movement inside the arc of a turn. That is, at the beginning of a turn, skiers will move their hips forward while the whole body moves sideway toward the inside of the turn arc creating greater edge angle than dynamic long turns this will help skiers set their edges at an earlier timing in turn which build pressure and edge grip much sooner than in dynamic parallel effective edging at the early stage of a turn will allow pure carving to begin before the fall line okay thank you um, that concludes the first two runs, and then uh, we move on to short turns. Our third demonstrator, Choi Young, will show um, dynamic short turns. Um, can start. Similar to our long turns, we focus on the very beginning of a turn. We want skiers to move their hips forward at the very beginning of a turn, which we believe prevents skiers from leaning backward. After the fall line, uh, at this point, skiers shouldn't touch the tongue of ski boot, but doesn't press it. And past the fall line, skiers keep steering both skis, which build pressure, and skiers will feel greater edge grip, but not too much, as it is dynamic short turns. Okay, thank you. Now we have the fourth demonstrator, Choi Song Ho. He's going to show carving short turns. The same fundamental used in dynamic short turns will be used in carving short turns but with greater lateral movement toward the inside of turn arc. That is, at the beginning of a turn, skiers will move their hips forward while the whole body map moves sideways toward the inside of the turn arc, creating greater pressure and edge angle. This will help skiers set their edges at an early timing in turn. Good. That concludes KSIS demonstration. Thank you.